Hello everybody, Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are on the virus removal series and we are in episode 8. Hopefully you're not bored out of your minds by now, but I'm trying to be completely thorough with the virus removal series. You may have already removed it and uh, you're not even dealing with it anymore. Maybe you'll never even see this episode. That's fine. If you removed it, the virus removal series was successful for you. Now, this is for those tough to remove viruses. Don't forget, make sure you go through all the episodes in order so you can do the proper backups and things like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and open up our virus removal HD pack that we got from my website. That was in episode two. If you don't have it yet, make sure you go download it. They are in order. We've ran all of these applications up to the NOD32 online scanner. We did that last episode. Now we're going to run the Trend Micro house call software. Just double click on that. Click run. It's going to download component updates. And this is why we booted our computer in safe mode with networking because uh, you actually have to have networking to run both NOD's online scanner and uh, the trend, trend micro house call and also as well as the uh, update definitions on the super anti-spyware online scanner. Once the updates have completed, it's going to bring open the licensing agreement. Of course, read it because I know you all read those agreements because they're, right, they're right, nice and short, right? <laughs> Just click next. Next, you will be greeted with the main house call screen. Here's the big blue scan button, but you want to click settings below it first. Choose full system scan, even though they recommend the quick scan. We are looking all over the place for these viruses. Click OK, then click scan now, and that will start your computer scan. Check it out. It found one on mine. Eee, that's creepy. <laughs> Once it's completed, of course, uh, the risk is high. That's actually kind of creepy. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and select fix now and it's telling me that I'm gonna have to restart which is normal um, just go ahead and do it that way uh, I'm gonna go to more details here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I want to write down the uh, the actual name of this looks like it's a generic Trojan which means it doesn't have a name and if it doesn't have a name that typically means it's not like a ridiculously dangerous one but uh, the reason you want to write these down is sometimes these are notorious for reinstalling themselves after you've removed them. I've said that in previous videos. Uh, but go ahead and, uh, uh, and, and run the clean and then uh, go ahead and restart now. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. As always, leave comments and ratings and don't forget to subscribe. And if this didn't find it and remove it, then uh, we'll keep moving forward and hopefully uh, well, one of our pieces of software will get it. And it sounds like you have a really bad one if it doesn't have it by now. But... Hey man, that's why I did this. It's completely thorough, and uh, thanks for stopping by.